Welcome to Living Supernaturally. We've been looking at God's word and we've been looking at the wisdom that is there in the book of Proverbs. Uh, wisdom that is there for us to receive, to apply and to, to live and to experience the power of his word. We see that this wisdom is divinely inspired and God breathed and it's actually instruction for uh, everyday living. Today we look at Proverbs chapter 16 and verse 3 which says commit your works to the Lord and your thoughts will be established I'll read it again commit your works to the Lord and your thoughts will be established the word commit has this picture of something be rolled onto something being submitted completely so the instruction for us is to commit our works to the Lord. And that word works means action, transaction, operation, occupation, business, whatever it could be. Everything that we are occupied with, everything that we operate in. And uh, the instruction is to commit it, to submit it, to be, to roll that out. Um, and the Hebrew word there, galal. You know, there's a beautiful picture of, uh, of a camel and, the, and the, the one who rides the camel using that as a command, galal, where the camel uh, kneels down and rolls the burden off its back. And we are asked to do the same thing, to commit, to roll out, to submit our transaction, our operation to God. And it says here, commit your works to the Lord, commit it to Him, submit it to Him. And your thoughts will be established. Thoughts meaning your intention, your um, imagination, the plans, the purposes, right at the thought level. Now we know that behind every action is a thought, right? Behind every action is a thought. Is there? It's, it's, it could be conscious, which means that it could be premeditated. You've thought about it and then you act. Or it could be very reflexive and it could be spontaneous where you did not even think too much about it, but it was more reflexive in nature. But nevertheless, there was a thought behind that action. So here, the Word of God says that your thoughts will be established. That intention, that plan, that imagination, that inspiration that you need will be established, will be uh, rooted, will be made firm. And we need our thoughts to be established because the quality of our thoughts determine the quality of our action. Of course, we need to implement our plans and implement whatever we decide, but the quality of our thoughts really decide the quality of our action. So here, God is empowering us in this way, He's saying, if we would just submit it to Him, if we would just place our plans before Him and bring our purposes, our occupation, our transaction, everything before Him, then He has promised that He will establish. There will be a making firm, there will be a making strong of our thoughts. When there's a making firm or making, making strong of our thoughts, then our actions will follow through. Our actions will be purposeful. Our actions will be qualitative actions. And the, the, the things that we see, there will be success. There will be even far greater success than earlier when we did not commit everything to the Lord. So today, in our workplace, in our place of study, and maybe we are at home. Let's commit everything to the Lord and uh, experience our thoughts being established. Let's pray. Father, we thank you for this promise that you will establish our thoughts. We thank you, Lord, that you are you you instruct us to come and place before you, submit before you all the plans, all the everything that could be our occupation, our business, every process, God, we submit it to you. And we thank you that you will establish our thoughts so the outcome will be good, the outcome will be glorious. We thank you for this promise. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. 
For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.